going on everyone this is the mac roberts back again with another nba 2k21 my player builder video and today we're going to be taking a look at the best ron harper builds now a lot of people know ron harper for his time with the bulls and then his time with the lakers before he retired but many don't know that harp was a bucket before he got to chicago drafted eighth overall out of the other miami university the one in ohio in 1986 harper was an athletic combo guard that played both ends during his four seasons in Cleveland, he averaged more than 20 points per game twice and was on the team when he and was on the team when Jordan made the shot over Craig Elo. And was on the team when Jordan made the shot over Craig Elo. He had problems with his ankles in Cleveland, then he was traded to the Clippers, where he continued being a two-way scorer. He tore his ACL in the 91 season, but he still bounced back and managed to score at least 18 points per game every season he was there. He then signed with the Bulls to slide in for Jordan after he retired, then shifted primarily to the point for the rest of his career. In another era, he probably would have made multiple All-Star teams, but with all-time guards like Tim Hardaway, John Stockton, Jordan, Reggie Miller, Isaiah Thomas, and Joe Dumars, Harp unfortunately never made it. He did win five championships though, which is more than every other player combined except for Jordan. So without further ado, let's get into the build. Position is going to be shooting guard, hand in this doesn't matter, jersey number also doesn't matter, I just chose four, because that's the number he wore for the majority of his career. For the pie chart, we're going to go with the yellow and red half and half pie chart. And for the physical profile, we're going to go with the speed invert physical profile. Now for the attributes, you're going to bring your close shot up to an 84, your driving layup up to an 84. You're driving dunk up to a 78. And you're gonna bring your standing dunk up to a 46. And that's gonna give you eight finishing badges. For shooting, you're gonna bring your mid-range shot up to a 74 and max it out. Max out your three-point shot. And bring your free throw up to a 77. And that's gonna give you five shooting badges. For playmaking, you're gonna max out your pass accuracy. And you're gonna max out your ball handle. And that's gonna give you 20 playmaking badges. Lastly, for defense and rebounding, you're going to bring your perimeter defense up to the max. Max out your lateral quickness. Max out your steal. Max out your block. Bring your offensive rebounding up to a 60. And you're going to spend the rest on defensive rebounding. And that's going to give you 17 defense and rebounding badges. So 8 finishing, 5 shooting, 20 playmaking, and 17 defense and rebounding badges is a total of 50 badges. Body shape doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go with define. Height is going to be 6'6". Weight is going to be 185 pounds. That was his actual height and weight. And for the wingspan, you're going to bring it down to 78.9 inches. So at 99 overall, you're going to have a close shot of 86, an 85 driving layup, an 80 driving dunk, and a 48 standing dunk. For your shooting stats, you're going to have a 79 mid-range shot, a 72 three-point shot, and an 81 free throw. For your playmaking, you're going to have an 88 pass accuracy, and an 86 ball handle. And for your defense and rebounding, you're gonna have an 86 perimeter defense, an 86 lateral quickness, an 87 steal, a 63 block, a 63 offensive rebound, and a 65 defensive rebound. Your physicals at 99 overall with the gym rat badge are gonna be 97 for speed, 95 for acceleration, 95 for vertical, and 56 for strength. For the takeover, you could either go with the playmaker takeover, the lockdown defender takeover, or the slasher takeover. It's completely up to you. Uh, I'm just going to go with the playmaker takeover. And the build is complete and you have built a two-way playmaker, shades of Victor Oladipo, Manu Ginobili, and Karis LeVert. Now for your badges, for your finishing badges, you're gonna put Acrobat on gold, consistent finisher on gold, and Slither finisher on silver. For your shooting badges, you're gonna put catch and shoot on silver, difficult shots on silver, and hot zone hunter on bronze. For your playmaking badges, you're gonna put ankle breaker on silver, dimer on gold, downhill on gold, flashy passer on gold, floor general on gold, lob city passer on gold, needle threader on gold, And for your defense and rebounding badges, you're going to put Chase Down Artist on gold, Clamps on gold, Intimidator on gold, Off Ball Pest on gold, Pick Dodger on gold, and Pick Pocket on silver. 
All right, everyone, this has been the best Ron Harper build. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon and join the Penny Face Squad. That'd be greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel overall. And you'll also be kept up with everything we do in the channel, so you don't want to miss any of that. Drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of the build. I'm taking requests, so if you have a build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try to make that build for you. I'm making builds every single day for next gen. Uh, I'm not doing current gen so much anymore, but I'll do it for a quest. So if you have a current gen build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below as well. Just say, hey, I want this build for current gen, and I'll try to make that build up for you. Last but not least, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.